Hello and welcome to R Tips as Hub where you learn a tip about R programming every day. If you're new here, please like and subscribe to this channel and look at my other videos as they will guide you on our journey so far in learning R. So in the previous videos we looked at Boolean operators in R. We looked at how they used to measure or used to look at conditions with true and false in R. We also looked at the AND operator, which combines uh, two conditions and checks if they have been met. And then we also looked at more complex conditions, such as <coughs> having um, uh, greater than and also combining that with uh, a value such as a logical. And then we also looked a logical operator. And we also looked at how to combined so true and true we said results in true true and false always results in false and also two falses um, when combined results using the and operator results to false so to this video we are going to look at the or operator which is represented by the pipe symbol is also called the pipe symbol in R and this is used when you want at least one of the conditions to be true for the overall expression to be true so if we want to look at at examples let's say we are saying that a is equals to 8 equals to 8 and then we are saying B equal to 20 then we want to see the result for equal to a is greater than 10 or b is less than 15. So this is the overall expression and we want to see if either of them are true. Let's just run this and then that. And then if we check result 4, we see that it's false. So A is greater than 10, that's false. And also B less than 15 is false. What if we want to change result 4? And then we say A is less than 10, which we know as true. Or operator B is less than 15. So we know that this is true, this is false. But because we have used the OR operator, we expect it to be true. So if we run this, and then we check result 5, yep, that's it, it's true. So that's how to use the OR operator. Next, we are also going to look at the NOT operator, which is represented by the exclamation mark, is used to reverse the value of a condition. So for example, we want to say that value is true and then we say result five, 6 is not value. If we run this, uh, let's run both of them, line 46 and line 47, and then we check the result we see that it's false so not true is false that's how we use the that's why it's important also to know the not operator so if we want to so the value is initially true but the not operator flips it to false so for example if we want to use the not operator in something else let's say um, we want to see if we want to see something let's say if no I have not introduced if yet so not at the moment let's say temperature 
equals to 28 and then is summer equal to true so we want to test temperature temperature um, greater than 25 is not equal to is summer let's see what that gives us it says it's false so temperature greater than 25 is not equal it's false because temperature greater than 25 28 is actually is actually is actually true but because we've introduced the not operator here then that's why it's giving us false so that's a basic introduction to some of the boolean operators that you'll find very useful in R um, like and share this video if you have any questions please write them in the comment section um, goodbye for now